Hi, it's Keir Finlow Bates here. Minus 20 degrees Celsius in Finland. So vodka doesn't freeze, but pretty much everything else does, including me. So what better thing to talk about than some of the observations that I've made concerning tokens on Ethereum and Ethereum-like platforms. I've been working on quite a few NFT and ERC20 projects over the last month or so. And one of the things that comes up time and time again is that ultimately projects want to launch their token on the Ethereum mainnet. And this isn't for any technical reason, because Binance Smart Chain or Polygon are technically just as good. It's all about brand and market awareness. And people want their token to be on the number one chain, the one that is famous, the one where everybody wants to hang out. It's kind of like having a bunch of restaurants in London all serving equal quality food, but one of them has been featured on television and has a Michelin star. And as a result, that's where everybody wants to go. And there are therefore long queues and waiting lists in order to get a table. However, the other funny thing is that having launched their token on the Ethereum mainnet, then the reality of the costs of transacting, of transacting actually kick in. And then suddenly they think to themselves, gosh, I wish we'd actually been on one of the other networks because then at least we and other members of our project and community could actually afford to do something with the damn contract that we've launched. And the result is that they then start talking about things such as bridging or even migrating the project over to one of these other chains. It's quite an amusing thing to look at from a technical point of view, but of course, from a practical end user point of view, it's immensely frustrating. So uh, we're all waiting for Ethereum 2.0 to launch to hopefully solve this, which would thereby give us a system which both had the brand recognition of Ethereum and the affordability of systems such as Polygon and Binance. However, we've been waiting for years and I'm not holding my breath personally for the imminent arrival of Ethereum 2.0 because it's been imminent for a long, long time. But I guess we'll see. Time will tell. That's it for today. I'm going to wrap up before my fingers freeze and I'll see you all in the next video soon. Bye for now.